night four of the starters live from MGM Resorts NBA Summer League at the Thomas and Mack Center here in Vegas, baby Vegas. Wow. We are rocking the yellow banana shirts tonight. You want to bubble with the bees, huh? I'm Jay Skeets alongside me, as always, that's Tass Mellis. All these people are here to see a basketball game, not the starters. No, that's absolutely <laughs> right. We had a fun game. We'll get to that in a second. To my left, it's the International Man of Mystery taking it to the max. Lee Ellis. Friends. Lee, Lee, Lee. And last, certainly not least, down yonder, it's the bearded one, Trey Kirby. Hey-o! hey All right. We got a fun show in store tonight. We're going to hand out some off-season grades to some of the busier teams from the off-season. Lee's got a very solid play, sure as do. always. And the number two pick of the draft, Lakers rookie Lonzo Ball, is going to join us live on set, despite not playing in the game tonight. We'll ask him about that. But let's get to some highlights, because we just saw one of the better games from Vegas Summer League between the Lakers and Kings. And there is Lonzo sitting this out with a groin injury. Early on, it was De'Aaron Fox doing it all. Oh, nice pass. The no look pass there to Buddy Heal for the three. Let's check the pass again. There you oh, go. Yeah. There you go, Buddy. Is that Buddy Love? Uh, I think it might be Buddy Fresh. Oh, Buddy Fresh on yeah. this one. All right. Then more Fox drives, finishes. Crafty with the lay-in. New teammate there, Zach Randolph, clapping it up, loving it. So with Lonzo out, Lakers guard Alex Caruso Woo! steps up the no look behind the pass Whoa. to Travis wow. Ware. He would miss, but Caruso tips it in. He's doing it all. Yeah, he absolutely is. David loves that. <laughs> <laughs> so after the Kings erased a 28-point deficit, yeah, a 28-point deficit, Alex Caruso is going to block Buddy oh, Hill. Caruso again? Yeah. yeah. Lakers <laughs> going the other way. They would find Vander Blue, who would knock in the three-pointer. So then Buddy Heald caught on fire. He made this a game, so seconds left. Buddy with a chance to tie it. He wants the three. He wants the three. Get he it needs in, the buddy. three. Oh. Comes up short on the three. Lakers win. Lakers win. Oh, Vince, can't believe it didn't fall. Look how Lakers into the, the game those fans were. Yeah, those I mean, there's, like what, 15,000 plus? They're saying in here, a lot of them here behind there us. Is, that was a really entertaining game. There was a viewing party in Sacramento's arena tonight yeah. right. for this game. And that was sold out, I believe, too. Yeah, apparently apparently 10,000 fans were oh. in Sacramento's arena. This place was buzzing. It was great. You saw the, the benches were into it. I mean, it's, it's ringing in our ears. Yeah, anytime a team gets down like 20 points and then, then comes back, you know, it's going to get entertaining. And th there was a stretch in the fourth quarter where it was just going three for three. Well, the Kings were hitting a three, and then the Lakers were just somehow scoring. Yeah. There was no stops. It was a high-scoring game for Summer League. And that was Buddy Hill. You know? Yeah, and he was a big you know, part of it. We sort of forget about his last season because it started off so bad in New Orleans, but it ended in Sacramento. He was averaging 15 points a game, shot 48% from two-point range and 43% from three-point range in 25 games and forced his way into the all-rookie first team. So, you know, we sort of look at it and think it was a bit of a down season, but this season now is quite promising, I think, if you're a Kings fan and you're Buddy Hill. Absolutely. Let's, Let's get to another highlight pack, which isn't as exciting. It didn't go down to the wire, but there are some highlights and some lowlights in this one. <laughs> lowlights mostly for the Bulls. Number seven overall pick, Larry Markin, and this was his highlight. This was his one bucket. Yeah! <laughs> He was one for 13. He got Trey Kirby out of his seat. Making his marketing. Very yeah. nice. Very nice. Get those in while you can because he only <laughs> had one basket. <laughs> On the other end, the Hawks, John Collins. He had a great half. Oh, oh nice that's a great summer league here. Oh, I feel oh, like yeah. every Collins highlight we've seen since we've been here is a dunk. Yeah. Dunk, yeah, dunk, 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 dunk. Yeah. And one more dunk yeah. here. Yeah, dunks on dunks on dunks. The number 19 oh. pick from this draft at 13 in the first half. And the other youngsters for the Hawks chipping in. These guys are playing in the rotation. Torian Prince is going to get some minutes. And this is all Hawks, baby. Yeah, there he is again. All Hawks. The John Collins there finishing two-hand slam. A lot to a little. 75 to 55 Hawks Bulls. Bulls have a lot of guys in the rotation here, and they haven't looked all that strong. Are you worried as the Bulls fan <laughs> of the starters? Well, am I worried? No, because the Bulls by all accounts are going to be pretty bad but they still got their draft pick so that's a good thing and I guess it's good to come out and see their young players not be good knowing you're going to keep those high draft picks but it's definitely not encouraging to have Torian Prince uh, playing Denzel Valentine drafted after him in the 2016 draft and to have John Collins out playing lottery marketing drafted after him in the 2017 class you don't like the Knicks both times 
But something tells me Lonzo Ball is nearby. Yeah. People are raging and no one's paying attention. No, I think I was they're just say, really excited about your Chicago Bulls analysis. Yeah. I was going to say, Trey just said a whole bunch of things about the Bulls, but I didn't hear an absolute word. Of it. There is Lonzo Ball. We're going to talk to him in a second. Before we get to Lonzo, before we get to Lonzo, for the last few years here at Summer League, we've tried our hand at hitting half-court shots. It has not gone well. Right. I, th all. I think to put it nicely, we've been we've been absolutely horrible. Right. According to our math, over the last three Whoa. seasons, we are a combined 0 <laughs> for 33. Yikes. So this is course. our year. That's what you're saying. I would. Yeah. I mean, oh, we're all oh, for 33. Oh, oh. The odds say we gotta eventually hit one. So Somebody has to. At halftime of a game earlier today. We took to the court. Right. We fired up some half court shots. And let's find out if we finally knocked right, one down. All right, Tassie. Come on, Tassie. Oh, oh, oh. That's all right. That's all right. There we Come go. on, Lily. Yeah, I've got it. This one's in. I remember it. Ooh. Ooh. Hard right. left. Just warming up. Come on, Justin Timberlake. Oh. Whoa. 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 Easy sniper. Oh, sorry. What if it goes in off the shot clock? I felt uh, good. Oh. oh. Rimmer. Rimmer. All right, okay, Lee. what are we at? Like 0 for 37 yeah. now? Oh, Ooh. nearly rimmed it. That was good. Deep rim. Oh, oh I thought it was oh, good. Wedgie. I thought it was feeling good. that one. So, we are now something like 0 for 42 45. or something like that. 0 for 45. We got to oh, retire boy. this. Keep shooting, though. <laughs> Never. Keep shooting or Keep make shoot. one. We yeah. got to make one sometime. Yeah. I mean, we, uh, we hit the rim a couple times. All right, when we come back, we will be joined by the Lakers' number two draft pick, Lonzo Ball live on the starters. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the starters where we're happy to be joined by the number two pick of the draft, Lakers rookie. Lonzo Ball, Lonzo, thanks for coming through here, man. Thanks for having me. You bring a crowd <laughs> wherever you go. These people are going nuts. All right, look, we're going to get to some fun in a second, but let's not beat around the bush here. You were taking on the Kings tonight. Everyone was excited that you were going to go up against the Aaron Fox, you know, and then we learned you had the groin injury. We had, we had superstars like Paul George tweeting, oh, no ball versus Fox matchup today. So, that had people going, oh, Lonzo's dodging him because Fox had good games against him in college. Let's set the record straight here. What was going on? Groin injury, any truth to that? You're, you yeah. can take the court here. So, I had injured it. I injured it before, you know, I leave and started playing. I injured it the last week, so that's why I couldn't practice last week. Gotcha, gotcha. So then, you know, the back-to-back, -back, I kind of re-aggravated it. Uh, went to the training room, uh, told me I couldn't play. So I was like, you know, I wanted to play, obviously. You know, everybody talks about me and Fox all the time, so that would have been fun. But, um, you know, it's just summer league. So at the same time, you know, you got to be careful. So it's just day to day now. So I'm right. ready to go. So there, back out there. so there it is. Well, after struggling in your first game, you bounced back in that game on Saturday, posted the triple double. Did anything change the way you approached that game? Were your mindset being more aggressive or the um, nerves that settled? What was it? Anything? Not really. No. Just the second game. You know, that was our first time playing the first game. I missed a lot of shots. Right. But um, at the end of the day, you know, I'm going to play the same way every time. You know, confident and uh, stay true to myself, and that's what I did. How fun is it to play in front of 15,000 plus here? I mean, <laughs> every game the Lakers have played, it's been packed here in the top of It doesn't get better than that. It's like a movie, man. You yeah. know, you're out yeah. there, everybody cheering on for you. And, um, and you can't really describe the atmosphere, it's crazy. Unbelievable, all right. At the NBA draft a few weeks ago, you said anyone could be a big baller. It was all your mindset. So we love that, and we want to learn a little bit more. So because you say anyone could be a big baller, we need your expertise, which is why we're gonna play baller or not. We're gonna ask you a thing or a scenario, and you can tell us if it's baller or not. <laughs> nah, all right, nah. so we got Simple we got the that. triple Bs, we got the X. Baller, nah. Yeah, so here you go, you, you can right. hold those. Some of these are weird, I'll warn you. <laughs> Wearing sunglasses indoors, baller or not? That's a baller. Ball. That's a baller <laughs> move. That is a classic baller move. Have you done it? Have you already done it? I have not done it, but it's definitely a baller. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, pedicures, taking care of your feet, baller or not? Ah. Uh, I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. I'm not, I'm not a fan. I mean, most basketball players player. have pretty jacked up feet. Yeah, Mine are good, so I'm not fine? a fan. You're I'm still fine. young. I'm good. Have okay. you seen Shaq's feet, though? Who? Shaq. Have you seen his feet? I have not. Uh, don't don't look it up. He should have taken care, better care of his feet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Next one. Horses. Are horses baller or not? 
Nah. No. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. Horse, horse power is. Horse power. Okay. Horse power. <laughs> horse power ball. You're taking a car over a horse then. Okay. Understandable. Uh, next one. Uh, in text or emails or whatever, the poop emoji. Baller, the poop emoji. Nah. That's not, <laughs> nah, that's played out. That's outdated. That's outdated. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's your, Good what's your, opinion. What's your go-to emoji, though? You have one? Uh, probably this one. That oh, one. Right. It works for everything. Okay. Yeah. 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 Especially when you're hitting threes. Yeah. Okay, I like this one. Baller or not, sneaking snacks into a movie theater. That's, that's baller. That's baller? <laughs> that's baller. <laughs> okay. What snacks are you sneaking in? Yeah. Anything that's sour, you know, it's coming in with me. Oh, right. Sour Patch Kids, you're the man. All right. Love this one. Your dad, LeVar Ball's WWE entrance. <laughs> That's Ball. I think we have that. Yeah, here it is. He's loving it. Are you guys wrestling fans in the house? I've never even seen wrestling before, but, uh, <laughs> but he was ready Man, for it. If it's like this, I'm going to keep watching. Uh, this is my favorite part. One leg up. <laughs> All right, okay. Awesome. Next one here. Uh, mirror, mirror selfies. Taking a selfie in the mirror. Follow or nah, 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 that's not it. Not a good look. Nah. nah. Okay. Don't okay. do that. Uh, how about dogs wearing clothes? Nah. You don't like a dog don't, in a Don't put clothes on your dog, man. Nah. Don't even put a leash on it. Just let him roam. Well, <laughs> well, I'm free. Well, look at, wait, don't we have? Yeah, look how cool he's doing. Are these are cool dogs. Nah. <laughs> They're I'm also not wearing sunglasses. That's yeah. baller. Nah. Do, you, do you have a dog? Do you have pets? I have four Rottweilers. Never dressed them. Never dressed them. Nah. Never dressed them. <laughs> okay, good to know. Uh, how about hugs? Baller or not? Hugs are baller. Hugs yeah. are baller. Hugs nice. are baller. All right. I like that. Give a hug. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, Game of Thrones, baller or not? Nah? You watch Game of Thrones? I've never seen it, so I can't. I can't. Okay. I can't vouch on okay, it. Okay, can't, can't speak it. to it. You never seen Game of Thrones? Never seen it. One of my best friends always tell me about it, but I just never. That's amazing had a to me. All right, yeah. all right. Got a lot of time on the road. You can catch up. Yeah, right, cool. good point. All right, um, taking your shoes off on an airplane. That's baller. Baller. Oh, yeah. wow. That's right up. You gotta have clean feet, though. You know, you gotta yeah. make sure your feet don't yeah. Well, you gotta get some pedicures then. Yeah. Uh, wearing a t shirt to a pool. In a pool. In the pool or to uh, the pool? In the pool. In, in, the, in pool. the pool. Nah. Okay. Nah, don't do that. At the pool, you're fine. At the pool, we, yeah, we cool. But if you're going in the water. <laughs> nah, you gotta take it okay. off. Couple more here. Using a stack of money as a pretend phone, is that a baller move or not? Yeah. I mean, why not? All right, good. Why not? This does, honestly, this does feel pretty baller. <laughs> this not as much. Check, check yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like the inside, it's all note cards, not as much. This but that looks right, cool. Though. That looks cool. Yes. And final one, final one here. You got the big baller brand shirts. Okay. What about our shirts? The bowling starters shirt. Baller I, or not? I like it. You got some nice jeans on with it, some shoes. You could definitely pull that off. All, all right. Look what right. we got baller. for you. We got one for you. <laughs> My man. We got to put a triple B on that shirt. Yeah. That's your colors. Yeah, All right, not only we got you a shirt, we oh, got you a, we got you a cake as well. We get all of our guests a cake, and we kept it simple with this cake. We just put triple B on it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Throw it up. That's ball. Cool. Throw it up. Ball. Ball. So here it is. Ball. 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 Thank you. Guys, give thanks it up. Thanks so much for coming out. Ball. Ball. Give it up for Lonzo Ball, guys. Yeah, thanks. Take a break. When we come back, we're gonna hand out some off-season grades to a few notable teams. Lonzo, thanks so much, man. Lonzo, you can take it if you want. That's totally up yeah, to you. Hey, Lonzo. All right, back to the starters. You just missed. Uh, a very <laughs> awkward there between Lonzo Ball and Trey Kirby, though he did say hugs were baller. All right, NBA offseason has been going berserk for over a month now, but this week it sort of started to slow down. You know, superstars have been traded, contracts have been signed. So let's do some offseason report cards, hand out some grades. We'll start with the Thunder, some notable offseason moves. Not bad, I mean, in comes Paul George, Patrick Patterson, Raymond Felton, out goes Oladipo and Sabonis in that trade for Paul George, Taj Gibson also headed to the Wolves. So guys, give me a grade here, a standard school grade, if you will, of the Thunders off season. What do you got? It's hard, yeah. I, I only went A, trade school and A plus there, but uh, they got Paul George. So it didn't, re <laughs> it didn't really matter what it cost them as long as they kept Westbrook. They got a superstar. They now become a much better team in the Western Conference. Yeah, huge A because they're showing Russell Westbrook they're going for it. 
even if Paul George leaves, they've shown that they want to go after a championship. I didn't give it an A+, plus because I am slightly worried. Let's say Paul George leaves after this season. Then Russell says, well, KD left me. Paul George left me. Uh-oh. How long am I going to stick around? You're making me want to erase this plus, Tassie. But, uh, <laughs> but I just it's, think it's such a perfect salary dump. They're getting more competitive. That's a good pitch to Westbrook. And if Paul George does leave, they've got their books cleared now because Victor Oladipo's contract is gone. Great move all around. Not to mention Patrick Patterson. What a pickup yeah. for basically yeah. at the end of free agency for a pretty cheap contract. Real cheap. Mm -hmm. All right. So everybody likes the Thunders offseason. No doubt. Let's see how you guys feel about the next team here. It is the Cleveland Cavaliers. Ooh, interesting. There's not a lot on this board. All right. David Griffin, what position does he play? In, Jose Calderon and his hams. Jeff Green as well, signing a cheap deal one year. Yeah, and out goes GM David Griffin because they wouldn't pay him. So, I'm interested to see the grades here for the Cavaliers offseason. What do we got? We got incomplete Incomplete. From Trey. They what lost their GM. They didn't really improve their team. But the Cavs have always been about mid-season additions. The past three years, they brought in J.R. Smith, Iman Shumpert, Timothy Mozgov, then Channing Fry, and then Kyle Korver and Darren Williams. They're going to get some random old vets so you sometime think during the season. The There's season. always moves to make when you're going for a title, guys, who are just trying to pick up a ring at the end of their career. Little contributors here and there. I'm sure the Cavs will do that come season time. Okay, I, he's incomplete. You guys are on, yeah. really on opposite spectrums here. You're going B, you're going D. D for David Griffin. I think it's awful that they <laughs> lost him. I mean, he deserved another contract. And he took them, I mean, he was in charge while they went to three straight finals and they couldn't agree on a contract. What else could he possibly have done? Right. And then the guys you brought in, Jose and Jeff Green. Okay, Jose is at the end of his career. Tidy vet off the bench. <laughs> the Jeff Green experiment, he seems to be just moving around team yeah. to team right now. I don't think he moves the needle either way. I think it's been a bad off season yeah, for the Yeah, it's terrible so that they lost David Griffin. Doesn't really make sense. But Jose Calderon is that sort of vet guy that they wanted to pick up in the middle of the season last year with Darren Williams, but he could be that perfect guy. He's going to the second round for the first time in his career. <laughs> and that's the whole thing is they're going to the finals. I mean, that, yep. that's, pretty the much, that's pretty much a given. And the Jeff Green signing, I think LeBron could bring the best out of him. <laughs> like J.R. Nice. Smith, like Iman Shumpert, he could have that effect. Maybe. Listen, they're going to the finals. The one problem they had in the finals, they couldn't guard Kevin Durant. That was the biggest issue. Jeff Green is an upgrade from Richard Jefferson, was the guy who was the primary guy to, to defend Kevin Durant. It's a chance that, you, that he plays alongside LeBron and he plays his best basketball of his career in a very limited role for $2.3 It's nothing. Does it worry you at all that LeBron is not recruiting guys this offseason? Because he has in the past, and he stayed very, very quiet this offseason. Well, he tried to recruit David Griffin back yeah. earlier in the season, he's, and that didn't work. And, so. and then he sent out a tweet that he wasn't happy, but, but really, he's been... We haven't heard a thing from yeah, him. I, I would be concerned if I was a Cavs fan. Of him, I, I, of him leaving. I think so. The silence is deafening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, really, it is, it is a slight worry, for sure. How, is he upset with the franchise, the organization, the front office? I sure. think he When he be, becomes yeah. a free agent 12 months from now. Yeah. All right, moving on here. The Houston Rockets. I guess in a way, you know, similar to your Thunder and bringing in a superstar, it's Chris Paul. They also got P.J. Tucker, Joe Chi. That's a great, that's a great. Their new rookie yeah. pick. <laughs> Out, Patrick Beverly, Lou Williams, Decker, Harold. I mean, there are a lot of those guys going in that Chris Paul. In fact, all four of those guys going in that Chris Paul trade. So what's the grade for the Rockets offseason moves so far? What do we got? Trey, man, you're a, what are you doing here? You're what's B plus, A plus. I always wanted to be a teacher just handing out random grades yeah. to my students. But I think it's a B plus. They didn't make a ton of moves, but they, what they got in Chris Paul and P.J. Tucker, exactly what they needed. A little bit more toughness, a little more in defense, another creator. They're going for it. They're trying to win a championship. I'm saying a possible A minus if they're able to pull off this thing, getting Carmelo Anthony. Because if they can bring in two superstars in CP3 and Carmelo to play alongside James Harden, I like it. Even if it doesn't work perfectly, at least you're trying for something, even with the Warriors being the greatest team in the world. They inch closer to the Warriors. I think that's clear. I think they're the second best team now in the Western Conference. If they had Chris Paul in that second round series against the Spurs, they win. They go on to the Western Conference Finals. So an A+. Plus. I'm very, very excited that teams aren't just saying, oh, the Warriors are good. Let's slow her down a bit. No, they're in an arms race, as Daryl Morey said, and they're going for it. I, I think P.J. Tucker's a sneaky good signing oh, for them as well. Sneaky. Very, very tough defender. He can sit, sit up and knock down that corner three-pointer as well. Daryl Morey making moves. I think it's fantastic. And as Trey mentioned, I don't think they're even done yet. I think they're still on the move. All right, one more very quickly here. The Boston Celtics. They got their own guy in Gordon Hayward. In signing him, in comes Marcus Morris. Bainsy. On your bainty. The rookie, Jason Tatum, out. Bradley, Olenek, Amir Johnson. Let's get some quick grades on this. I, I, I'm guessing you guys are going to like this. Maybe that Bradley move you, you, takes it down a little notch. What do you got here? It's some A's, for me. some B's, yeah. makes sense. Losing. A simple A. Simple A. 
What does that mean? Well, it's just a simple A. You know, I was thinking <laughs> it would be an A plus if you're able to get Paul yeah. George and Gordon Hayward or Jimmy Butler and Gordon Hayward. They just got one of them, but he's awesome. Give him a standard A, yeah. a simple A, if you will. Yeah, I, I think the expectations were a little too high coming mm-hmm. into this right, offseason. Right. Oh, you, you have to go get two All Stars. Well, they got one, and in, in any other year, this would be a, a very high grade. So they did exceptionally well. Yeah, the Bradley signing or the Bradley trade hurts. It does. Yeah, is that, that why? Is that why you're giving it a B? Absolutely, it is because it's hey, B for Bradley. <laughs> it is, yeah. That seems to be I, how you look, grade things. Haywood's hey, good, and he was in demand this summer. He's a very good player, but they're going to miss Bradley's defense. There's no doubt about it. He was always guarding the other team's best player, yeah. and they matched up well against the Warriors, largely because of Bradley's defense. All right, there it is. We're going to take a break. One more, but when we come back, Lily is going to hit us with the very solid summer league play. Ooh, that's Don't a nice one. Is that a spoiler alert right there? <laughs> I hope not. We're going out to the Raptors and Nuggets game. We've got a five-man fizzer okay. from Whoa. the Denver Nuggets. Look at the ball just fizzing around here. Wow. 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 Everyone yeah. touches it. Oh, that would have been off. perfect. Comes back to Monty Morris for a switch. switch. Bomb. That's what I call a very solid play. Yeah. Wow. Get those thumbs up. <laughs> Monty Morris from Monty Morris to Sir Dominic Pointer. Oh. The Legend. names at NBA Summer League are fantastic. That's this man's name, Sir Dominic Pointer. Oh. And if oh. you didn't know his name before, you know it now because of that jammer and that chest bump. And he pointer to his chest. Yeah. <laughs> Play of the day right there. Now it's time for the thing we'd really like to squeeze in here. It has nothing to do with basketball. Well, sort of. Joel Embiid. Like baseball music. Out at the home run derby, that's him in the salmon shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so what did he do? Drop the ball. He dropped it, but Come on, some, Joel. he got another one. Was he he did? a little Murray bit later. Whoa! That's an actual baseball. Wow, it is not. That's that insane. is that is not a stress ball. <laughs> that is an actual baseball Are in Joel sure? Embiid's hand. He actually got a second one as well. Wow, incredible. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, let's take a quick look at tomorrow's. NBA TV Summer League schedule here from Vegas. We got the Spurs and the Blazers, Bulls and the Wizards, Heat and the Mavericks. And then of course the starters on following the final game. And this is crazy to say, but tomorrow night is our final show. Wow. For Summer League. I, I know, it's wild. They didn't set us up here for two weeks this time. So we'll make it a good one and we'll see you guys tomorrow night. This was our penultimate show. Oh, what a <laughs> fun word. word. What a fun word. All right, thanks for joining us, folks. Day four in the books. Look how much fun we had. Look how, look how yellow our shirts are. Shout out to Lonzo uh, Buff. Coming through. Brace the night, people. Us.